the economic heart of the Deep South, ranging from the Appalachian Mountains in the north to the Barrier Islands to the south. A state known as the Peach State, but is a leading producer in peanuts. A state... A flawed one. Georgia State motto is wisdom, justice, and moderation. The capital of Georgia is Atlanta, with a population of 498,715 people in 2020. It is also the largest city in Georgia. Atlanta is the 10th most populated capital behind Sacramento, California, and ahead of Raleigh, North Carolina. Atlanta is the 38th largest city in the United States, behind Mesa, Arizona, and ahead of Omaha, Nebraska. In 2021, Atlanta actually slightly lost population, which will probably keep it in 38th place for a bit. 6,144,050 people live in the Atlanta metropolitan area, ranking it the 8th largest in the country behind Philadelphia and ahead of Miami, and it is the largest in Georgia. Even though the city of Atlanta has slightly lost population in 2021, the metropolitan area gained in 2021, making it a good indication that people are moving out of the city into the suburbs. Admitted to the Union on January 2, 1788, making it the fourth state. Before statehood, Georgia was called the province of Georgia, which covered northern Alabama and Mississippi as well. Georgia is almost right in the middle of the country in size, with 59,425 total square miles, ranking it the 24th largest state behind Wisconsin and ahead of Illinois. 57,906 of that is land square miles, which would make it the 21st largest land area behind Washington and ahead of Michigan. This also ranks Georgia the largest land area state east of the Mississippi. That leaves 1,912 square miles left over for water square miles, which would make it the 22nd largest water area behind South Carolina and ahead of Alabama. In 2010, Georgia had a population of 9,687,653, making it the ninth most populated state. In 2020, Georgia had a population of 10,711,908, ranking it the eighth most populous state behind Ohio and ahead of North Carolina. Georgia and North Carolina both passed Michigan in the 2020 census. This was a 10.57% increase, which was the 13th biggest growth behind Oregon and ahead of Delaware. This gives Georgia 185.2 people per square mile, ranking it the 17th most crowded state behind Indiana and ahead of Michigan. Georgia has slightly increased in population in 2021 as well as Atlanta. There is 14 metropolitan areas within the state, along with the rest of the southeast people are moving to their urban areas at a fast rate. Like the other states I've covered, Georgia is fully in the eastern time zone. Georgia is the first state I'll be covering that's in the southeastern United States and is bordered to five states. Tennessee and North Carolina is bordered to the north, Alabama is bordered to the west, Florida is bordered to the south, South Carolina to the northeast, and Atlanta Ocean to the southeast, in which has 100 miles of coastline. Georgia's border with South Carolina runs up the Savannah River until it meets the Chattanooga River, which runs up the rest of the border until North Carolina. This border was established with the Treaty of Beaufort and was tested in the Supreme Court twice in 1923 and 1989 with Georgia versus South Carolina. Georgia's border then turns sharply around Ribbon County and then diverges slightly south. Georgia once shared this border with North Carolina all the way across until North Carolina split land with Tennessee. Georgia's west border with Alabama then heads straight south to meet the Chattahoochee River, which eventually runs to the confluence with the Flint River at the Florida border. The southern border moves back east and then goes slightly south when it eventually meets the St. Mary's River, which forms the rest of the border to the Atlantic Ocean. An 1818 survey placed Georgia's northern border one mile south of where it was intended to be with the 35th parallel north. State legislators to this day dispute the border because the correction of the mistake would allow Georgia's access to the Tennessee River. The southern region of the United States can be defined in many ways depending on what you agree with the most, but no matter how you slice it, it's in the south. Georgia is always a part of it and is commonly known to be part of the deep south. Georgia is defined by a diversity of landscapes, flora, and fauna. The state's northernmost region is home to the Blue Ridge Mountains, which is part of the larger Appalachian Mountain system. The Piedmont Plateau starts with the foothills and the mountains until the fall line. This meets the coastal plain, which covers the state's southern region. Georgia has 14 barrier islands that are up and down its coast with the Atlantic Ocean. Georgia's highest point is Brasstown Bald at 4,784 feet above sea level, which ranks at the 25th behind Spruce Knob of West Virginia and ahead of Mount Mansfield of Vermont. The lowest point of Georgia is where the Georgia meets the Atlantic Ocean at its coastline. 
This leaves Georgia with an average elevation of 600 feet, which is tied with Illinois and Maine, which is just behind Arkansas and ahead of Alabama. The geographic center of Georgia is located in Twiggs County. Driving through Georgia and much of the south, you notice there is water everywhere. Georgia has 70,150 miles of river streams within the state, and these rivers can be divided into 14 major basins and also broken down even more into 52 watersheds. The longest river entirely within Georgia's border is the Flint River with 344 miles in length. There's 23 lakes in Georgia, with Clarks Hill Lake being the largest that is shared with South Carolina, and the largest lake fully within Georgia is Lake Lanier. Georgia is the 15th flat state behind North Carolina and ahead of Maryland. With 67.28% of the state being forested, that makes it the 7th most forested state behind South Carolina and ahead of Mississippi. The current state flag of Georgia was adopted on February 19, 2003. The flag consists of three stripes going in a red, white, red order, featuring a blue corner. There is a ring of 13 stars symbolizing the 13 original colonies that surround the state's coat of arms in gold. Georgia's coat of arms consists of an arch that symbolizes the state's constitution, with three pillars symbolizing the three branches of government. The state motto, wisdom, justice, and moderation, are wrapped around the pillars. This is protected by a male figure dressed in a colonial attire with the American Revolutionary War. The man has a sword drawn to symbolize the protection of the state's constitution with an additional motto, in God we trust. Below these elements was still inside the ring of stars. Mississippi and Florida are the only other two states with the motto, in God we trust. The state bird is the brown thrasher, the state fish is the largemouth bass, the state flower is the Cherokee rose, the state insect is the honeybee, the state mammal is the North Atlantic right whale, the state reptile is the gopher tortoise, the state tree is the southern live oak, and the state food is grits and peaches. Geology of Georgia consists of four regions that runs from the northeast corner to the south. The northeast corner consists of the Blue Ridge region, which consists of Georgia's mountains and the highest point. Also, the Blue Ridge region consists of the Georgia Gold Belt, where gold was first discovered in 1828. The northwest corner consists of the Valley and Ridge region of the state that rides right along the Appalachian Mountains. During the Otterbuchan period, the tectonic plate carrying this area collided with another plate leading to the subduction zone in the beginning of the Appalachian Mountains. This region includes limestone, sandstone, shale, and other sedimentary rocks. These regions meet with the Piedmont that contains hills and lower elevations than the Blue Ridge Mountains. This geological region consists of igneous and metamorphic sediments. Rocks in the region include schist, ambulite, gneiss, megamite, and granite. This region consists of prominent features like Stone Mountain and the Brevard Fault. The last region is the coastal plain that runs from New Jersey to Texas, or more specifically the Atlantic Coastal Plain that runs into Florida in which you will hear me bring it up as we go through these southern states. The fall line splits the Piedmont region from the coastal plain which passes through Georgia with Augusta to the east and Macon down to the Columbus, Georgia to the southwest. Georgia has 250 tree species and 58 protected plants. The native trees in Georgia include the red cedar, a variety of pines, oaks, hollies, cypress, sweet gum, scaly bark, white hickories, and the sable palmetto. Broadleaf evergreen flora make up the majority of the southern and coastal regions of Georgia. Yellow jasmine and mountain laurel make up a few of the flowering shrubs in the state. White-tailed deer are found in all counties in Georgia. There are 160 bird species that live in Georgia. There are 79 species of reptiles and 63 species of amphibians known to live in Georgia. These reptiles include the eastern diamondback, copperhead, and cottonmouth snakes, as well as alligators. The main amphibians include salamanders, frogs, and toads. The most popular freshwater fish consists of trout, bream, bass, and catfish. Saltwater fish consists of red drum, spotted sea trout, flounder, and tarpon. Porpoises, whales, shrimp, oysters, and blue crabs and found inshore and offshore of Georgia's coast. Georgia completely lies in the humid subtropical climate, which has hot and humid summers with cool, mild winters. Georgia has an average temperature of 64.3 degrees, which is tied with Mississippi for the fifth form of state, just behind Texas and ahead of Alabama. Georgia gets plenty of rainfall within the state with an average of 50.7 inches per year, making it the seventh wettest state behind Tennessee and ahead of Arkansas. Snowfall, as you can imagine, isn't much of a threat for Georgia, with the peak of snow with Blairsville averaging 3 inches per year, Atlanta right below averaging 2.2 inches of snow a year. The highest temperature ever recorded in Georgia was on July 24, 1952 in Louisville, Georgia of 112 degrees, which is tied with Alabama, Michigan, and West Virginia for the 31st hottest recorded day for a state. 
The lowest temperature ever recorded in Georgia was on January 27, 1940, in the northern portion of Floyd County of negative 17 degrees, which is tied with Delaware for the fourth warmest coldest day for the state. Georgia is one of the leading states of frequency of tornadoes, but they are rarely stronger than an EF1. A EF2 struck downtown Atlanta on March 14, 2008, causing moderate to severe damage to various buildings. Georgia having a coastline to the Atlantic Ocean leaves it vulnerable to hurricanes, but with its location tucked behind Florida, leaves direct hits rare. Georgia often gets affected from hurricanes that hit Florida first and then weaken to a tropical storm with winds and rains affecting the state. Other hurricanes that affect Georgia usually brush along the coast as they travel north up the Atlantic coast. Georgia has had 65 federally declared natural disasters, which is the 22nd most in the country just behind West Virginia and ahead of South Dakota. Atlanta is the biggest city in Georgia with a population of 498,715 and is located at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in northern Georgia. Columbus is the second largest city with a population of 206,922 and is located on the border with Alabama. Augusta is the third largest city in Georgia with a population of 202,081 and is situated on the Savannah River right across the South Carolina border. Macon is the fourth largest city in Georgia with a population of 157,346 it is located in the center of the state, giving it the nickname the heart of Georgia. Savannah is the fifth largest city with a population of 147,780 people and is near the South Carolina border along the Atlantic coast and has always been an important historic seaport. 59.4% of Georgia's population is white, 33% of the population is black, 10.2% of the population is Hispanic, and 4.6% of the population is Asian. Georgia has a total GDP of $747 million, giving it the eighth biggest economy behind Ohio and ahead of New Jersey. Georgia has a GDP growth rate from 2020 to 2021 of 5.8%, giving it the ninth best growth behind Michigan and ahead of Colorado. If Georgia was a country, it would have the 22nd best economy in the world just ahead of Poland and behind Switzerland. The first inhabitants in Georgia came into the area 10,000 to 12,000 years ago. They built small seasonal camps as they followed the movements of large prey. The woodland culture from 1000 BC to 900 CE built small villages and were more permanent than the first inhabitants. The woodland people left large mounds of clay and earth. Some mounds contained human burials in places where people worked on jewelry, pottery, and figurines. Some were even shaped like animals like Rock Eagle, which is located in central Georgia and is present to this day. The Mississippian culture named for the river valley occupied the region after the woodland people. They continued the tradition of building mounds, but they used them for ceremonial purposes and homes for the chiefs. The culture developed a powerful centralized government headed by chiefs. The Mississippian culture was dominant in the region when the Europeans arrived. Around 1540, the first European expedition in Georgia led by Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto, who sent a quest for silver and gold. They enslaved and directly or indirectly killed much of the Mississippian culture in the region from diseases. In 1565, the French tried to occupy the southeastern coast, which caused the Spanish to begin their occupation of northern Florida. The Spanish really began to influence the region, setting up military posts and Catholic missions up and down the barrier islands along Georgia's coast. The original inhabitants of the region persuaded the Christianity and changed many lifestyle choices. In the second half of the 17th century, British influence in South Carolina led to Spanish missions retreating out of Georgia. The area of present-day Georgia came to be known as debatable land following Spanish departure. British and South Carolina began to trade with indigenous residents of Georgia but were slow to occupy land south of the Savannah River. In 1732, George II granted a charter to establish a colony of Georgia. The prime mover in obtaining the charter was James Edward Ogletrope who sought to found a colony for the poor of England for a new life. In 1733, the first English settlement was made in Savannah, Georgia. Ogletrope directed the affairs of the colony, mainly the military operations. The plan of the English settlement was a tightly structured settlement system designed to create a population of farmers. Slavery was prohibited to avoid the growth of large plantations. The most successful thing to come out of the settlement was the planning and construction of Savannah. Unfortunately, in 1752, all power was surrendered to the British government and short enough agricultural plantations took a hold in the region. It relied heavily on slavery and became the mainstay of the colony's economy. Before the American Revolution, there was a push of migration inland that reached the lower Piedmont region. 
Georgia's response to revolutionary tensions was complex, which resulted in a variable civil warfare between loyalists and patriots. This causes havoc and stress on the Georgia people. People from Georgia opposed the British trade regulations, but also hesitated to join the revolution, mainly because Georgians believed they needed the protection from British troops just in case of an attack from the Indians. Georgia then sent representatives to the First Continental Congress that met in Philadelphia to discuss banning all trade with Britain. Georgia delegates gathered in Savannah to discuss joining the association with the revolution and to elect representatives to join the Second Continental Congress. After being split on the issue, Georgia sent Lyman Hall to the Second Continental Congress. When news broke out about battles breaking out in Concord and Lexington, Massachusetts, it caused many who were on the fence to join the revolution. A group of people called the Sons of Liberty broke into a powder magazine in Savannah on May 11, 1775. On July 4, 1775, Georgia joined the association in banning all trade with Britain. The Georgia Congress established local committees to enforce the associate's ban. On August 2, 1775, the local committee in Augusta, Georgia confronted Thomas Brown at his residence in South Carolina right above Augusta. Thomas Brown commanded a group of loyalists called the King's Rangers and supported Britain through the revolutionary times. He refused to honor the association when confronted, so the Liberty men tortured him in several ways. Afterwards, they hauled him unconscious through the streets of Augusta to show what would happen if people didn't honor the association. When Thomas Brown recovered, he retired into South Carolina backcountry, where him and other leaders enlisted hundreds of loyalists to march on Augusta. The British was expected to make a rival in Georgia, so the loyalists backed off until the British came. In January of 1776, British warships arrived in Savannah at the Savannah River. What was believed to be an attack from the British on March 2nd through the 3rd, 1776, but really the British only wanted to seize rich laden merchant ships in the Savannah Harbor. George Walton, Lyman Hall, and Button Gwinnett were the Georgia delegates that signed the Declaration of Independence on the infamous day of July 4, 1776. Congress recommended that the newly independent states adopt a permanent frame of government in which Georgians elect delegates to meet in Savannah to discuss this matter. This led to Georgia adopting one of the most democratic constitutions of any state on February 5, 1777. Burke, Camden, Chapman, Effingham, Glenn, Liberty, Richmond, and Wilkes were the first counties created once the constitution was signed. Georgia's militia staged three invasions on the British in Florida, with all of them leading to failure. In 1778, after the war in the North had reached a stalemate, General Sir Henry Clinton ordered Lieutenant Archibald Campbell to invade Georgia with 3,000 troops to restore Georgia under British rule. The army landed just south of Savannah on December 28, 1778, and they pushed to Savannah easily and completely overwhelmed General Robert Hoe's defenders of Savannah. On January 12, Campbell's troops, along with Provost Royal Americans and Brown Rangers from Florida, marched to Augusta. The march was uninterrupted the whole way, which led to Campbell taking control of Augusta on January 31, 1779. British Indian allies were delayed on meeting in Augusta and several loyalists were cut off from meeting in Augusta from South Carolinans. On February 14, 1779, the Battle of Kettle Creek took place in which Patriots defeated the loyalists trying to make their way to British-controlled Augusta, in which Campbell withdrew to the same day as the defeat. The Patriots followed Campbell's troops, but on March 3rd, the British turned back on the following Patriots in the Battle of Briar Creek. This led to Georgia being split with Northern Georgia under Patriot rule and Southern Georgia under British rule. After a lot of dysfunction within the Georgia government, on July 14, 1779, Governor Sir James Wright announced the restoration of Georgia to the Crown with the exemption of taxation. Georgia became the first and the only state from the 13 colonies in rebellion to be restored back to the Crown. On September 3, 1779, a French fleet unexpectedly appeared off the Georgia coast. Count Charles Henry Estein intended to besiege Savannah with 4,000 to 5,000 men. Major General Benjamin Lincoln hurried over from South Carolina to join the attack along with the French. They demanded to surrender Savannah on September 16th, but General Augustine Prevost refused after South Carolina brought more redcoats to bolster British forces. On October 1779, they launched an attack on British forces which they suffered great losses and was forced to retreat back to South Carolina and the French ships. After the successful battle in the Savannah of Sir Henry Clinton brought his army down from New York and set up Tybee Island as his base. After this, he began a siege on Charleston, South Carolina, in which the city was surrendered on May 12, 1780. Sir Henry Clinton left for New York and let Lord Cornwallis in charge. 
The British gained good control of the South all the way up to Charleston, South Carolina. Cornwallis sent units to take control of the backcountry posts within Georgia. On September 14, 1780, Lieutenant Colonel Elijah Clark rallied 600 men and attacked Augusta. They took over Augusta momentarily until Lieutenant Colonel John Harris Kruger and his New York loyalists from 96 came for relief. Clark retreated back to North Carolina after the Augusta attack and was hounded by Indians and loyalists the whole way. Cornwallis dispatched a force of loyalists to try and cut Clark off, but Clark's friends in the mountains swarmed to the loyalist force and caught them on Kings Mountain and scored a victory for the Patriots on October 7, 1780. After this, the threat to the British was real, so they built a fort named after Cornwallis and Augusta. Major General Nathaniel Green ordered General Andrew Pickens from the South Carolina Militia and Lieutenant Colonel Henry with the Legion to join Clark in another attack on Augusta. On May 22, 1781, the second siege of Augusta began, in which was a two-week battle. Lee's engineers built wooden forts with held cannons that could reach Fort Cornwallis. The British had no choice but to surrender on June 5, 1781, which was important because it gave American peace negotiations in pa Paris, France, reason to demand independence of Georgia, even with Savannah being under British control. On July 11, 1782, the British evacuated Savannah, which gave the Patriots full control of Georgia. By 1860, Georgia was known as the Empire State of the South. Georgia was the second largest state in the region east of the Mississippi River, only behind Virginia until 1863 when West Virginia separated from the state. With Georgia's location along the Atlantic Ocean and being a deep south state, Georgia played a crucial role in the secession and formation of the Confederacy. Georgia had the second largest total population and the second largest population of enslaved and enslavers of any state behind Virginia. On March 16, 1861, Georgia admitted to the Confederacy, which made it the second state to do so behind Alabama. By the mid-19th century, a vast majority of white Georgians had come to view slavery as economically indispensable. Georgia had the greatest number of large plantations of any other state in the South. During early parts of the Civil War, the Union occupied parts of Georgia's coast, disrupting the slave system. Georgians mostly fought in other states during the Civil War since Georgia didn't see any warfare until 1863. The first major battle in Georgia was the Battle of Chickamauga in 1863 and was a Confederate victory. In 1864, Union troops under William Tamuz Sherman invaded Georgia from the north. Sherman and his troops laid siege to Atlanta and then burned much of the city to the ground. After capturing Atlanta, Sherman launched his march to the sea, which was a 50-mile wild path of destruction all the way from Atlanta to Savannah, which is over 200 miles away. This march was devastating to Georgia and the Confederacy economically and mentally as Sherman and his troops destroyed plantations, railroads, killed livestock, and freeing slaves. They kept this up all the way to Savannah in which they captured at the end of the march, but was largely spared. Sherman estimated they inflicted millions of damage, which in today's money would be billions. Sherman also ordered 400 Roswell Mill workers, mostly women, with their children to be arrested and shipped as prisoners to the north. After capturing Savannah, Georgia in January 1865, he left for the Carolinas. On April 16, 1865, the Battle of Columbus was fought on the Georgia-Alabama border, which was later declared the last battle in Georgia. The county courthouses of McIntosh, Dade, Cherokee, Clayton, Cobb, Polk, Whitfield, Bullock, Butts, Shreven, Washington, and Wilkinson were all destroyed during the Civil War by the U.S. Army. Many of Civil War battlefields, mainly around Atlanta, have been lost to modern development, but a number of the sites have been well preserved, including the Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Park, Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park, Stone Mountain, Fort Pulaski, and Atlanta Cyclorama. Antebellum mansions and plantations are found mainly around Atlanta and Savannah, which were well preserved and open to public. Portions of Western and Atlantic Railroad have historical markers commemorating events during the Civil War, including sites that are associated with Andrews Raid, which was a military race from the Union forces that took a train north towards Chattanooga, causing as much damage possible. From Gainesville to Milledgeville is the Civil War Heartland Leaders Trail, which includes 46 sites. Sweetwater Creek State Park in Douglas County was one, has one of the last standing buildings burned by General Sherman's Army. Under the Reconstruction government, Georgia moved its capital from Milledgeville to Atlanta. Constructions of a new capital building started, which was finished in 1889 and is the current capital building to this day. This increased Atlanta's population rapidly with government jobs and with Atlanta being a center of trade. 
In 1885, Atlanta and Fulton County enacted prohibition legislation against alcohol. A local pharmacist, John Bemberton, invented a new soda drink and sold the rights to the product two years later, which was now known as Coca-Cola. Attracted by low labor costs and proximity to raw materials, new textile businesses flourished in Georgia. Due to untapped virgin forests, particularly the pine savanna, lodging became big in the state. It also supported other new industries such as paper mills and turpentine distilling, which made Georgia the leading producer of naval stores. Coal, granite, and kaolin mining was, became big in Georgia. In the 1880s and 1890s, political violence suppressed black voting with Georgia enacting Jim Crow laws suppressing the black vote. Lynching of blacks by mobs increased around the time, with 1899 being the peak, with 27 Georgians being killed. This period aligned with more suppressed voting towards blacks and poor whites with poll taxes, literacy and comprehension tests, and residency requirements. In 1900, almost half of Georgia's population was black, but most weren't allowed to vote. Georgia also established a white primary, which further excluded the chances of blacks voting. Booker T. Washington gave a speech in Atlanta, Georgia, known as the Atlanta Compromise, to urge black people to focus on their own conditions and to improve their own skill and become great at skills for available jobs such as agriculture, mechanics, and domestic service. He also urged whites to take responsibility to improve social and economic relations between their races. Black leaders such as W.E.B. Du Bois disagreed with Booker, saying he was accepting uh, the oppression. Early in the 20th century, the progressive era found its way to Georgia with the middle class rapidly growing. Georgia experienced economic expansion in both manufacturing and agriculture. In 1911, Georgia produced a record of 2.8 million bales of cotton. However, the bell weevil, which is a beetle that eats on cotton, arrived to Georgia. By 1921, 45% of Georgia's cotton crop was destroyed by the beetle. World War I drove cotton prices up because of the demand, but quickly after the war, the damage to cotton was done and the price quickly dropped. In 1934, Georgia's poll tax was upheld in the Supreme Court case of Breed Love v. Suttles. In 1944, white primaries were banned, and in 1945, Georgia's poll tax was repealed. There was two waves of the Great Migration, where a total of more than 6.5 million African Americans left the South for the northern industrial cities between 1910 and 1970. Rebecca Lattimore Felton from Decor. Georgia was sworn into the U.S. Senate on November 21, 1922, and served one day, making her the first woman to serve in the U.S. Senate. Georgia was the first state to reject the 19th Amendment, which allowed a right for women to vote, but in 1920, the amendment was passed nationally. However, black women were largely excluded from voting until after the Federal Voting Rights Act of 1965. With the prices of cotton and other things dropping, it had a negative impact on rural Georgia, which in turn had a negative impact on the entire state. By 1932, the economic recession turned into a severe depression. Cotton prices went from highs of a dollar per pound during World War I to one to 20 cents per pound in the late 1920s to six cents per pound in 1931 and 1932. The Great Depression proved to be tough for Georgia, but several New Deal programs and the Agricultural Adjustment Act injected $250 million into Georgia's economy between 1933 and 1940. Factory production during World War II lifted Georgia out of a recession which employed tens of thousands of people. In 1946, Georgia became the first state to allow 18-year-olds to vote and remained the only state to do so up until 1971 with the passage of the 26th Amendment, the same year the CDC was founded in Atlanta. By 1950, more Georgians were employed in manufacturing than farming, which is a big surprise due to its past history. African American soldiers returned to a segregated nation and state after fighting in a segregated military during World War II. Atlanta, which is home to a number of traditional black colleges, sustained a large education middle class black community which produced leaders in the civil rights movement. The Supreme Court decision of Brown v. Board of Education was denounced by Georgia Governor Marvin Griffin, who pledged to keep the Georgia schools seg segregated. Atlanta-born minister Martin Luther King Jr. emerged as a national leader in the Montgomery bus boycott of 1955 in Alabama. King, along with others, joined the Southern Christian Leadership Conference in 1957 to provide political leadership to the civil rights movement across the South. Black churches had long been important within their communities and they were at the forefront of the civil rights movement. 
national opinion eventually turned in favor of the civil rights movement. Before John F. Kennedy's assassination, he prepared and submitted a civil rights bill to Congress. His successor, Lyndon B. Johnson, made the legislation his priority, and in 1964, he secured the passage of the Civil Rights Act and also secured passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 the following year. In 1969, the U.S. Department of Justice filed a successful lawsuit against Georgia to integrate public schools. In 1970, Governor Jimmy Carter declared in his inaugural address that the era of racial segregation has ended. In 1972, Georgians elected Andrew Young to Congress as the first African American since Reconstruction. In 1980, William B. Hartsfield International Airport, the busiest in the world, was complete. This airport was creating major economic growth for the Atlanta metropolitan area. In 1990, the International Olympic Committee selected Atlanta as a site for the 1996 Summer Olympics. In 1991, UPS established its headquarters in Atlanta suburbs. In 1992, construction finished on the Bank of America Plaza, making it the tallest building in the United States outside of Chicago and New York City. The median household income in Georgia is 61,244, which ranks it the 39th highest in the country behind Arizona and ahead of Kansas. Georgia has a per capita income of 32,427, ranking it 32nd in the country just behind Montana and ahead of Arizona. Georgia ranks ninth with most Fortune 500 businesses with 18. 16 of those are in Atlanta, which ranks third behind NYC and Houston. The most prominent of these companies are Home Depot, Delta, Coca-Cola, and are located in Atlanta, and Aflac located outside of Atlanta. Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport is the busiest airport in the world by passenger and aircraft traffic. The Port of Savannah is the fourth busiest seaport in the United States and is fastest growing container seaport in North America. With Atlanta having major growth in finance, insurance, technology, manufacturing, real estate, service, logistics, transportation, film, communication, conventions, trade shows, and tourism, it has become the economic heart of Georgia. According to Visual Capitalist, Georgia was ranked the 10th best state to do business in 2022. Georgia historically has always been a major player in agriculture, even though it's not the largest source of work in Georgia today. At one point, Georgia was primarily known as a con state, but now has a wide variety of agriculture. Georgia ranks number one in the United States with poultry. In 2021, Georgia ranked fifth in the United States with tobacco production. Georgia ranks third in the iconic peach production behind California and its neighbor, South Carolina. Georgia is the number one pecan producer in the world, mainly in Southwest Georgia. Georgia is also in the top five in blueberry production in the United States. Georgia also produces apples, cabbage, corn, cottonseed, cucumbers, grapes, hay, oats, onions, peaches, rye, sorghum grain, soybeans, tobacco, tomatoes, vegetables, and wheat, as well as ornamental turf grass and other nursery and greenhouse commodities. Beef cattle, dairy cows, and hogs are produced on farms throughout the state. Other livestock such as meat, goats, and sheep, catfish, trout, and honeybees are also produced. 27% of Georgia's land is devoted to farmland, which is 9.9 million acres. Major mining in Georgia includes a variety of clays, stones, and sands. Industrial production in Georgia consists of textiles and apparel, transportation equipment, food processing, paper products, chemicals, and other electrical equipment. Georgia has been widely known as the Hollywood of the South. In 2016, Georgia overtook California as the state with the most feature films produced on location. Stranger Things, The Walking Dead, and The Vampire Diaries are shows that are filmed in the state. Movies such as Passengers, Forrest Gump, Contagion, Hidden Figures, Sully, Baby Driver, The Hunger Games Catching Fire, Captain America, Civil War, Black Panther, Birds of Prey, and many more were filmed in Georgia. The popular Tyler Perry Studios is also located in Atlanta. Two movies that won an Oscar for Best Picture was Gone with the Wind in 1939 and Driving Miss Daisy in 1989. World of Coke, Stone Mountain, and Georgia Aquarium, Zoo Atlanta are major tourist attractions around Atlanta. The Savannah Historic District attracts more than 11 million tourists each year. The Golden Isles is a string of barrier islands home to golf courses, beaches, and the Cumberland Island National Seashore. The music scene in Atlanta is one of the biggest in the United States, being considered the capital of modern-day hip-hop, R&B, along with gospel, blues, jazz, and a good history of country music. Notable artists include Ray Charles and Gladys Knight. Georgia has a sports team in pretty much every professional sports league. The Atlanta Braves in the MLB, the Atlantic Falcons in the NFL, the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA, 
and Atlanta United FC in the MLS. FBS Division I college sports consist of the Georgia Bulldogs in Athens, Georgia, Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets in Atlanta, Georgia State Panthers also in Atlanta, and the Georgia Southern Eagles in Statesboro, Georgia. The Georgia teams have won multiple national championships, with the 2021 College Football Championship being the recent with Georgia Bulldogs taking the crown over Alabama. Georgia vs. Georgia Tech has a historic rivalry known as the Clean Old Fashioned Hate, and Georgia State vs. Georgia Southern have recently started their own rivalry. In 1996, Summer Olympics took place in Atlanta. The Masters Golf Tournament, which is the first of the PGA Tour's four majors, is held annually the second weekend of April at the Augusta National Golf Club. The Atlanta Motor Speedway hosts the Dixie 500 NASCAR Cup Series, and Road Atlanta hosts the Petit Lee Mans. Atlanta's Georgia Dome hosted Super Bowl 28 in 1994 and Super Bowl 34 in 2000. The Georgia Dome also hosted the NCAA Final Four Men's Basketball National Championships in 2002, 2007, and 2013. It also hosted WWZ WrestleMania's 27 in 2011, which was an attendance record set of 71,617 people watching the event. It's also the site of the annual Chick-fil-A Bowl in college football. Professional baseball player T.Y. Cobb was the first player ever inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame and he was from Narrows, Georgia and was nicknamed the Georgia Peach. The Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta hosted Super Bowl 53 in 2008 and the College Football Playoff Championship in the same year. The SEC Championship game for college football is hosted every year. The MLS All-Star Game and MLS Cup in 2018 was also hosted at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Georgia contains one biosphere reserve Georgia has 49 state parks, 15 national historic sites are in Georgia. Georgia has two national forests that is compromised under the Chattahoochee and Okanee National Forest in northern Georgia. Georgia also has 11 national wildlife refugees. After six straight elections of Georgia voting for a Republican president, in 2020 Georgia went in favor of the Democratic candidate. Georgia voted for a Democratic governor from 1950 to 1998. Ever since then, Georgia has voted for a Republican governor since 2002. Georgia has 16 electoral votes, which is tied with Michigan. Only seven states have more electoral votes, which is California, Texas, Florida, New York, Pennsylvania, Illinois, and Ohio. Georgia has a partisan voting index of R plus 3, which ties it with Arizona and Florida, North Carolina for the 24th most Republican state. With this basically being right in the middle of Georgia, it considered one of the most powerful swing states. Georgia has 85 public colleges and 45 private institutions of higher learning. Among these, Georgia University was founded in 1785, making it one of the oldest universities in the United States and being the country's oldest state chartered university. Georgia has a high school graduation rate of 87.9% and a bachelor's degree or higher graduation rate of 32.2%. Georgia ranks 32nd in public school ranking according to Wallet Hub. Georgia has 1,244 miles of interstate highways within its borders. Major interstates include I-16, I-20, I-24, I-59, I-75, I-85, and I-95. Major U.S. highways include U.S. 1, 11, 17, 19, 23, 25, 27, 29, 41, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, and U.S. 221. There's eight major commercial airports in Georgia, naming them in order of passengers served, starting with number one, Hartsville, Jackson, Atlanta, and Savannah, Hilton Head are the only two international airports. In Georgia, followed by Augusta, Columbus, Albany, Macon, Brunswick, Valdosa, and Athens. There's two deep water seaports in Savannah and Brunswick, Georgia. There's also two river ports at Bainbridge and Columbus. In 2022, according to Wild Hub, Georgia ranked 43rd in healthcare. Atlanta metropolitan area is the ninth biggest media market according to Nielsen Media Research with Savannah ranking 95th. Augusta ranking 115th and Columbus ranking 127th. There is 48 TV broadcast stations in Georgia including TBS, TNT, TCM, Cartoon Network, and CNN. Along with this, the Weather Channel being headquartered in Atlanta as well. Georgia is made up of over 500 cities and 159 counties, which is the second most in the country behind Texas with 254 counties. Ware County is the largest county in Georgia with 908 total square miles, and the smallest county in Georgia is Clark County with 121 total square miles. The most populated county in Georgia is Fulton County, 
and is the only county in Georgia with a population over a million. The least populated county in Georgia is Talaferro County with a population of 1,558 people. Georgia has a property tax rate of 0.92%, which ranks at 26th lowest just behind Oklahoma and ahead of Missouri. With a gas tax rate of 36.9 cents in Georgia, ranking it the 16th highest just behind Maryland and ahead of Connecticut. Georgia has an income tax rate of 5.75%, which is tied with Maryland and Virginia and ranks them the 28th lowest in the country. Lastly, Georgia has a sale tax rate of 7.35%, which is the 19th highest just behind South Carolina and ahead of Ohio in 2022. The 39th President of the United States, Jimmy Carter, is the only U.S. President from Georgia, which is from Plains, Georgia. Martin Luther King was born in Atlanta in 1929. Other prominent people from Georgia is NBA player Al Farik Aminu, Eric Berry, Mel Blunt, Jim Brown, S. Trua Cathy, Paula Dean, Thomas Davis, Kenyon Drake, Derek Favors, Hulk Hogan, Ed Helms, Justin Houston, Dwight Howard, Calvin Johnson, Adam Jones, Khalid, Spike Lee, Cam Newton, Julia Roberts, just to name a few. I've drove down 95 on Georgia's coast and I've always felt a sense of home. I've seen the swampy lowlands of Georgia and I can just say it's a great state that I love very much. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more. If there is more stuff you wish I discussed or went more in detail with, let me know in the comments below for a possible part two. I hope you all have a great day, and until next time, World Geo out.